The Democrats have to understand, as we keep saying on this show, you can't play by the same rule book that you have for decades in Washington because you've been steamrolled for decades in Washington. And you're up against people who are being very efficient in chipping away at our democracy. And the only way to overcome the dictator's playbook is to be relentless, is to be ruthless in the name of good, to use all the power at your disposal and to take bold measures and to ensure that people see what you are doing in their everyday lives, to see changes. Because if Democrats are demoralized by what's going on, if they're tired of this cinema and mansion, Groundhog's Day, where all we're hearing about is cinema and mansions, obstructionism, all the great things we could have in this country, all the quality of life builders and, and climate crisis, aggressive action that we could have if it weren't for mansion and cinema. If we don't get past those two, if we don't get some accountability for the den of thieves that actively destroyed America and actively destroyed America standing in the world for so long for a terrifying four-year term that culminated naturally, of course, in a violent coup attempt to overthrow our democracy where several people were murdered by a violent white mob. If we don't have accountability for that, if we don't have accountability for Trump, Jared Kushner, Ivanka Trump, and all those complicit in their crimes and criminality, you're going to have a dampening of anger. You're going to have a lot of Democrats saying, what is the point in being demoralized? And overcoming them, steamrolling over them to the polls, are going to be the disinformation-fueled anger of Bannon's foot soldiers. And that's what's coming for Democrats in 2022. And if Bannon's army takes over Congress, then you're going to have a Republican Party that is better positioned in 2024 to steal the White House, even if a Democrat should fairly win the White House in 2024. Because remember, it's Congress that certifies the election results and they could challenge it and finally be effective this time. 